how's uh, how's everybody doing? Yeah. How are we doing, guys? Yeah. How were the how was the beer? Excellent samples today. Excellent samples. Um, for the internet, hello, this is Michael Mazarkovich from Hashtag Unpacked. Today we are unpacking Mike Schreiner of the Green Party, leader of the Provincial Greens, and Craft Beer in Ontario, and how policies could better help Craft Beer in Ontario. Uh, now, Mike, I know you do a lot of local food stuff, and, and local beer just seems like the next step to that. Um, I guess what I want to do initially is to, to uh, build a bit of a backstory for everyone by giving you my own ignorant prepositions and, and letting you uh, letting you shoot them down. So, <laughs> uh, so first of all, wait, which one's first? Hold this for a second. Say something funny. <laughs> well, um, anyway. Kathleen Wynn's doing a good job. That's Kat, there you go, that's very funny. <laughs> the nuclear industry wants a 180% price increase for power. Oh, man. That's oh, hilarious. That's very hilarious. Oh, yeah. So maybe we should say no to that. That's enough, Mike. That's getting depressing. <laughs> you don't pay enough. <laughs> Great, but a lot of craft brewers then want to sell to the LCBO and the beer store, places like that, and they have a very difficult time doing that which is why I started the Liberate Local Beer campaign. Because I think all local beer should be liberated. Should be free and accessible. Free the beer! Free the beer! Yeah. Absolutely, free the beer. Because we want beer to be available for people. Preferably free. <laughs> anyway, I know that's not possible. <laughs> and I guess, you know, the old saying is true. I made this up. Uh, it's one thing to grow the pig, and it's another thing to take it to market. So, <laughs> Yeah, I did make that up, but it felt like an old saying, right? Yeah. That's, that's, very old. that's what we were going for. My preconception of people that low, that uh, that uh, brew local beer is, you know, software developers that have beers that don't like their day jobs but have all this income and, and are trying to, you know, they're essentially uh, rich millennials going through midlife crises. Um, which is, I'm not rich, but that's why I'm trying to brew mead. It's a quarter life crisis. Um, yeah. It's a thing now, quarter life crises. Get into it. Uh, so, my question is who are Ontario's local craft brewers? Are they Mennonites who have decided that because Jesus turned water into wine, drinking is okay now? Or are they, you know, uh, are they are they all like Callum from TWB, super passionate dudes that found Croatian vats in, in Sputniks and Scorpio? Who are our brewers? Well, you know what? Our, I think our brewers come in all shapes and sizes, and from all theological backgrounds and walks of life. But the one thing I have found with Ontario Craft Brewers is that they are passionate about beer. And they are passionate about hops and barley and malts and yeasts and all of those things that go into making beer. And they just, and most of them I think are passionate about um, making sure their local community is sufficiently lubricated to have fun. <laughs> obviously... Very, very, very important. Um, so I go to the LCBO and I see a few craft beers from Ontario. There are clearly some of them out there. And, and I'm like, oh, well, look, Ontario craft beer. I'm buying this. Aren't I trendy? Who here buys craft beer from Ontario because it's trendy? No. <laughs> okay? A few of us who do it because it's delicious. Oh, uh, yeah. wow. Well, well. You guys are all so sincere and unironic. This is really great. I feel a little bit bad about myself. Now. I was doing it before it was trendy. There we go. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. So it's, it's obviously delicious. It sounds like you feel like provincial legislation is stopping our local craft brewers from selling their beer to us. It's essentially standing in the way between us and their beer. Do we like that? No. no. Okay, so what are those barriers? What is it that we could be doing better? Well, yeah, can I tell you a little story? And I don't know if this has ever been told publicly before. And so the cameras are on. So uh, in 2014, I received an 18-page 
cease and desist order from the Brewers Retail oh. Oh. saying wow. that if I ever referred to them again as the foreign beer store monopoly, they would sue me. <laughs> so they may sue me because I just said it. <laughs> wow. Now, those are the kinds of barriers and the kinds of power that craft brewers are up against. And I will. Have, okay. I just want to say, for legal reasons, that we were not referring to them as that. That was merely an allusion to a previous oh, okay. re reference. <laughs> yes. So yeah, we're, I think legally we're, we're, we're okay, right, guys? Yeah, 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 I was just referring to their letter. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Okay. So I refer to them now as a foreign-owned beer store oligopoly. <laughs> But they haven't threatened to sue me for calling them that. Oh. Because I think it's true. So they can't sue me for, tell, for telling the truth. But I just think, you know, if a few brewers want to get together and sell good Ontario craft beer and support the local economy and create local jobs, then why doesn't our province allow that to happen? It makes absolutely no sense to me. And that's why I want to liberate local beer. Um, I'll add me to that too. No. Thank you. <laughs> mead. mead, guys, it's fermented honey water. I've been yes. getting into it because I thought it would make me a Viking. You know, I thought it'd be really like rugged and Vikingy. Then I tasted it. It's really light and fruity. So I, you know, I really had to reevaluate my perceptions after that. But it's it's not terrible. <laughs> For this to work. For local brewers to be able to say, okay, I've brewed this pig, let me can it and take it to market, <laughs> so to speak, um, what, what would need to be in place here? What, what do you see as the, the vision for this to work? Well, there's a lot of ways, there's a lot of ways this could work. The LCBO can regulate it. Um, in the same way you have BQA wines, OCB could take on the same role in terms of verification and things like that. Um, so there, there are existing models that could work to make this happen. So, uh, to me, what's preventing this from happening, I mean, quite frankly, is the greed of brewers retail and the big brewers who want to shut the little guys out. And one of the things the Green Party does, whether it's liberating local beer or supporting low-income people or supporting small businesses, is somebody's or supporting local renewable energy co-ops or whatever it is, somebody's got to stand up for, you know, the so-called little guy and gal, the ordinary folks who are trying to build a local, sustainable, and just communities. And this is just, again, another example of, of um, the small business person fighting against big business that wants to use their power to freeze them out to the detriment of our communities. All right, wow, and I mean, yeah, there's an optional applause break there. Um, yeah, and I mean, I, I will say, Mike, that your track history is littered with supporting local farmers and supporting local, you know, local food co-ops and initiatives like that. He doesn't litter. Right. Wait, what was that? He doesn't, he doesn't litter. <laughs> but no littering, because this is no the litter. Green Party. No litter. Uh, right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, litter figuratively, right? With, you know, and, and in a positive sense, and sort of like, <laughs> in a reasonable, recyclable, in a reasonable, recyclable kind of way. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we can if you'd like, we can replace littered with populated by. Oh, there we go. Populated by examples of supporting local farmers and local initiatives and stuff like that. The way that I pictured this was, you know, these sort of large, beefy beer companies love that and is coming in and, you know, throwing all these cheap beers at people and all the people saying, no, we want craft breweries. And you riding up on a horse with your Mel Gibson impression and your giant craft beer sword and yelling, freedom! That's what I pictured. Um, yeah, no, no, it would be a green horse and a green sword, but other than that, you're right. Right, sorry, Every, essentially big beer is threatening to sue you for calling them, you know, what was it? No, don't say it. I don't want to, I don't want to incriminate it, but, you know, for calling those things. So, I mean, in a way it makes sense, but I do want to hear more about what made you turn your head from the local agricultural scene and say, oh, Ontario beer, that could use liberating. What was that journey? 
do you, did, were you like brewing beer in your basement and couldn't sell it? Did you have like an, an uncle making moonshine who was like, why isn't this in the LCBO? You know, what, what was that? What was that like? Okay. Is this one go to you? Oh man, all these confessions. So I have made my own beer. I have made my own hard cider. And I have made my own wine in my life. I can't vouch for how good any of those things were. <laughs> But I have produced them all in my basement. Wow. Okay. So I, I you know, I, I, you know, so I'm a bit of a, you know, I like, I like to do things with food and beverage, and uh, and I also enjoy an occasional uh, local beer, mm. and I want it to be liberated, and I want to liberate all peoples. So why not liberate beer while you're at it? <laughs> Freedom! Freedom! <laughs> you know, guys, Mike Schreiner, you know, just your average local brewing kind of a guy who happens to be also the head of the Provincial Greens and wants to liberate beers. That makes sense. Uh, before we go, there's there's a fantasy I have where... <laughs> Whoa. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> not that kind of fantasy. Where a room full of people raise their beers with Mike Schreiner, uh, and all yell freedom doing a Mel Gibson impression. Can we do that? Sure, yes. All right, everyone, take up thy arms, people. Yeah, there it is. Okay. All right, on the count of three. One, two, three. Freedom! All right. Cheers, thank you, Michael. Uh, Mike, it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure, Mike. Thank you, 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 Thank